Right, hello guys, and welcome back to episode two of our Own the Map series. Um, I've just realised, not really thinking that there is another YouTuber that's doing exactly the same map and doing exactly the same thing. Um, I didn't realise at the time actually that um, he was on the same map as me, so I hope he doesn't think I'm copying because I'm not, I just didn't realise. Anyway. <coughs> I've decided to put a hold on leasing the um, forest harvester. After all, that field's going nowhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cultivate this field and get it limed, get it fertilised, and then get it reseeded with soybeans. And the money we make from the soybeans will go towards um, the money I need for the forage harvester. Um, I have got a couple, I've got one that I've downloaded um, and added into the save, I think I've added it in, I hope I have, and it's Yo one of Yogi's mods and it's got a um, capacity on it, so I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase that one because that's over £500,000, so I might just, I don't know yet, I might get the class one or I might get the John Deere one, I'm not sure one to go for yeah so that's those two fields of um, corn are going nowhere because we own them so they're not going to disappear they're not going to rot so we'll leave that for now and we'll come back to that later on I've sold all the wheat that's what's bought this cultivator and going to buy the lime and fertilizer spreaders in a minute um, got quite a bit for that actually that that wheat we got 200 and it was 210,000 litres out of this field and that's without it being um, fer limed or fertilised the yield potential was um, the expected yield was pretty low so hopefully once I've done this and I've limed it and fertilised it we should be in for a really good yield hopefully um, give me just a second guys because I forgot to do something uh, that's it, sorted. Right, sorry about that, just had to do something in the background. <coughs> I had something run, a uh, program running in the background that might have caused um, issues with the video. I don't want the video lagging or nothing, so. So, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the map, sort of. There are parts of the map that f looks that f looks and feels unfinished, um, like lumpy cell point areas and stuff like that, um, gaps in the road and things. You know, there's little things that look unfinished, like they could be had some work done to them, like a bit of smoothing out or something. You know, just just feels unfinished. But it's not a bad map. I quite like this. This is Stevie's version of the, um, oh, I can't pronounce it, hang on, let me show you, it's easier to show you, yeah, of that plough, this is Stevie's edit, um, It's this is the cultivator version, there's also a plough version as well, that he's done, um, basically you can change the colours on it, and having it matching the equipment you've got, like me for instance, I've got class, so I've done it to match the class, recommended horsepower for this is 500 but this 400 horse I think it's 400 um, tractors pulling it this is the class 960 so it's pulling it no problem I've sold the um, debris crusher, rock crusher, whatever you want to call it because well, I wasn't going to do rocks however, I have found um, a 9 metre stone picker so I'm in two minds whether to put rocks back on or not, or field stones or whatever you want to call them um, 
If you want me to put field stones back on, guys, just mention in the co just say in the comments, and I'll put them back on. So yeah, I'm going to do a second headland round and then I will um, come back when I've done the field and then we'll get it limed, fertilised and then reseeded. I'm going to put in a um, refill point where we can just pull up to it and fill it up with the relevant product that we need to put in the relevant piece of equipment, you know. So. Just to save the amount of trips we've got to make to and fro the shop. I know the shop's not far from the farm, but even so. But yeah, this cultivator's making light work of this field. I should have this done in no time. into the fence of the hedge line. That's it. It's wider than I thought. I thought I could make the turn there. Well, obviously not. Quite um, quite nice looking this map. I like the way the farm's laid out as well. I just need to find out where the other animals are. I haven't started on the chicken yet, I, I was going to do that and I just hadn't, I, f I forgot basically. <clears throat> I forgot I was going to get some chicken in. Collected all the straw and put that into the TMR mix, and we got a total of. Um, let's just have a look. Four, four hundred thirty-three thousand liters out of this field. So that wasn't bad for straw. Definitely less than I thought I was going to get. I thought I was going to get enough to fill the actual um, mix with straw, but. It's just under half full. But yeah, the next crop I'm going to put in this field is going to be soybeans. And then hopefully the money I make from that will pay for the um, forage harvester. I need to harvest those two fields. Even go into the editor and just take the hedgerow out and put those those two fields into one because field four looks quite small. So yeah, I'm doing well at the moment. All the equipment we've got, we own um, none of it's leased at the moment and I haven't um, tapped into the loan. I will just show you that now. Uh, there 
go see zero so what we're making is actually profit <clears throat> Excuse me. Hang on a sec, guys. There we go, that's better. Right, I will be back when I've cultivated this field, guys, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, hello, guys, welcome back. Just coming to the end of the cultivating now. It didn't take long. With a cultivator this size, I didn't think it would take that long to do. Um, the next step is to get it limed and fertilise, which is what I'm going to do next. So, we will pack that up. When my buttons on my side panel decide to work. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't get to the off switch in time. So we'll park this up. Oh, hello. Oh, there's an obstacle there. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there's an invisible collision there. Hmm. Alright, what we'll do is we'll park this in here. Then we'll grab one of the other tractors and we'll hook up to the lime spreader. We'll bring it over here and fill it up because that's a purchasable point for various different products go get this one and put any hours on this one yeah <laughs> I would get cosplay doing this, but we haven't really got a lot to do at the moment, so I might as well just do it myself. It's just a case of getting that field seeded so that we can um, get a harvest going on and make the money that I need to purchase the um, forage harvester. Probably going to have to fill up a couple of times, I reckon, for this field, because it's quite large. Um, just out of curiosity, how much does the... That's 240. The chicken, how many do they hold? Because I do have one that takes a thousand chicken. Three sixty. Mm. Yeah, I might have to put my one in. I want plenty of eggs, see. Because it's all about making money. So there's a few collisions there. Um, just bring up. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything there. Apart from that box. Apart from that little box there. down mm. 
Obviously, fertilizer goes a bit more than lime. That's why I've got a smaller one for the fertilizer. But I still reckon I'd probably have to fill up at least once. Probably going to have to fill this at least once as well. Purely because of the size of the field. I reckon I'll probably get half the field done before I've got a refill. Do apologise if I sound a bit um, strange. It's because I've still got my cold that I can't seem to shift. Still got a bit of a cold going on. It's taken a while to shift it. should see this episode on Sunday guys don't forget to check out um, my Carmsden farm let's play as well there's two episodes of that up I must do another one try and get another episode done of that I've now got a plan we've bought the shit uh, bought the cows we're gonna well we bought 30 cows anyway going to increase the cow f um, flock and i um, going to buy some sheep on that one as well and the aim for that one is to pay back the loan my next purchase I want to make on there is field 9 which is quite expensive field 9 do another headland round and then I will bring you back when I've done the f liming I'm definitely gonna have to fill up at least once because it's nearly halfway f halfway through the lime and we're not even halfway through the field yet so but yeah I'm gonna do another round and then um, I will bring you back when I'm done the liming it's quite a large field so yeah I'll bring you back when the liming's done guys see you in a minute Right, I'm back guys, we're just coming to the end of the liming, and yes, I did have to fill up once, which I thought I would have to. Um, I've got Courseplay doing the fertiliser, just to speed things up, and I've also realised I've made a mistake. I run out of money, um, so I've had to sell a couple of bits of equipment. One is the mower, and one of... Uh, not one of, but the front loader, the wheel loader, I've had to sell. Because I've realised I've made a mistake. Um, I bought a cedar. And what I should have done was bought a cedar with a built-in roller. Because otherwise, we've now got to buy a separate roller. So, I've got to rectify that error. And hope. Yeah, I don't regret doing it. So I'm going to have to buy back the mower at some point as well. So that's added added to our stuff that we've got to purchase. So I will park that up, park this up, and 
sort that problem out. I do have a seed, uh, well it's actually a planter, it's glass dose, but it does everything, nearly everything anyway. And you can have a um, roller on it as well, fitted on it. Don't know if that's true to life, whether you would actually get a cedar with a built-in roller, but... Personally, I've never used... Um, never done a lot of seeding, so that was down to other guys. I used to do harvesting and things around the farm, a bit of maintenance, things like that. So we've got the choice of two, we've got this one which is 12 metres and I've got this one which is 18 metres. I might go for the 18 metre one as the fields are quite large. So we're going to go for that one, we're going to add the roller, increase the speed to 15 and change the colour to match our equipment, match our tractors. So that's the one we're now going to go for. There's no, um, I don't think, yes there is, there's a fertilisation option on this, whereas this one hasn't got it, that's why it's slightly dearer. Um, we will reset that to the farm. Oh, alright, oh, that's fine. Reset. We'll go and grab it. So yeah, um, I had to sell a bit of equipment to make a bit of money so that I could get some fertilizer for the fields. Probably will need to fill the fertilizer up again in a minute. It's on 34%, so I don't think it's got enough to do the whole field. trouble is with this one it's a bugger to turn There's definitely something there that's causing a problem. Because it looks like I'm now stuck in it. Okay. Yes, I know this is going to be a bit unrealistic. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of choice because I can't see to get off whatever I'm on. Fill the seed. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Oh, there we go. Now it is. the liquid though, which is what I uh, suspected. Oh, this is starting to annoy me now, whatever this is, it's really starting to annoy me.
Well, I hope you're enjoying this, guys. I'm trying to keep progression going as 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 quick as I can. Try and keep the money coming in as well. Once I've got the money to purchase the forest wagon, we can crack on with those two fields there as well. See where he's at. Oh, it looks like he's nearly done. Yeah, he is, he's nearly done. That's cool. And he didn't have to get refilled, so that's a bonus. The fertilizer's definitely gone further than the lime did. He's done. Despite the fact that this seed is 18 metres, it looks tiny in this field. Kind of gives you a scale of what size the field is in relation to the seeder, you know. Just wondering if we have a sugar mill on the map as well. We've we got a sugar mill. As if we have, I could do some sugar beets. No, it don't look like it. Uh, let's take that one. Let's have a little look. I don't think we have. This looks like just a standard cell point. Oh, that's bonus. We'll pick them up as we go. See what I mean? There's, there's bits of this that just look unfinished. And then you've got the lip right round the right round the cell point, you know? Just little bits that look unfinished. That's not a purchase point. Uh, is that one? I don't think that one is either. No, it's not. No, it's just sell points. Okay. We might put in a sugar mill then. If I can find a suitable area to put it. Probably haven't got a tailor's either. Right, again, I will do once round and then I will stop the recording and bring you guys back once um, seeding is nearly complete.
Otherwise, you'll be sitting there going, ooh, I'm tired. I fall asleep. No, I don't want that. This is repetitive. The trouble is, though, farming is a lot of the jobs you do over and over and over again. That's the one thing about farming, it's very repetitive, even in real life. Right, I will bring you guys back once um, I'm nearly completed the seeding. Right, I'm back, guys. We've just come to the end of this. Uh, just come to the end of the seeding now. So it took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but we got there in the end. And that is that. That field is now ready, seeded and ready to um, be grown now. We've got potential, we've got an expected yield of 99% out of 110. So that is as good as we're going to get without, if we'd have mulched, we would have got a better, um, we'd have got 100%, but can't argue with 99%, that's, that's good enough for me. So I will park this up guys, and when we return, we'll be doing a soybean harvest. Right, so that's it for this episode, guys. When we return, we will be doing a soybean harvest, as I said. Um, hopefully, we will raise enough money to purchase um, the mower back and our forage harvester that I need for the um, maize harvest I want to do. So, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Don't forget, if you have, please hit that like button. That's really important. And uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. When you do subscribe to the channel, guys, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I go live or when I post any more videos. Feel free to comment and I will see you all in the next one. And don't forget to share the stream with whoever you want. The more the merrier. Bye for now, guys.